What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are finally getting around to doing the updated Swim Bay Arsenal video. Been seeing a lot of these being posted recently by like the homeless fishermen and then like Jeffrey the King. So I thought I would hop on today and film the updated uh, Swim Bay Arsenal for y'all. Uh, I filmed one like six months ago, I think. Roughly six months ago. And it has gotten a lot bigger as you can see. I don't know. Y'all need to go watch that one before this one just to see how much it's grown. Spent, invested a lot of money into the Swim Bait Arsenal. And just into baits that I love to fish in general. Got a lot of more baits. Uh, I've been catching a lot of fish on these baits. Actually, I've caught 81 swim bait fish this year, I think. I went out this morning and tried to film a little swim bait fishing vid for you guys, but was unsuccessful. Just had a big rainstorm push in last night, and it kind of blew out all the ponds I like to go fish. I prefer to fish swim baits in like cleaner water ponds, like ones that have a good healthy vegetation in them as well. But uh, that rain just eliminated all the water clarity in every single pond I went to. I tried three different spots and all of them were like super, super muddy from the rain. So came back home and decided to come and film this video for you guys. So we're gonna start with the hard baits and if I have multiples of them, I'll just go through them real quick. I'm not gonna do it the same as last time where like I explain what the baits do and everything. Uh, gonna be doing a lot of videos just fishing with these baits and I'll go more in depth with them uh, in the future and just in just future individual videos but yeah we're just gonna fly through it so this video is not an hour long one more thing for those of you who don't know I've been fishing with swim baits for like six I would say five years now um, got really really big into it like five years ago had not this many baits but I probably had like two-thirds the amount of baits I have right now and I ended up selling most of them because I had a couple rods and reels stolen from me uh it was my fault really but but yeah i had a couple rods stolen from from me and i ended up selling most of my swim bait arsenal I had a ton of trashy bass stuff kgb baits uh different working class zero baits uh some drt stuff but like six months ago i decided to get back into it and i have just gotten re-addicted as you can see so let's stop yapping and let's start showing you some baits i'm just gonna go left to right on the bait wall so it's just gonna be in no specific order starting out I got four of these bad boys right here. These are the six cents trace. I'm gonna have to show you all them two at a time. So these are my two fast sync ones. I got 4K shad and I don't know what this color is called, like Cajun gill, I think. Got these for a steal. So decided to pick them up to try them out. Uh, Cause I love the bull shad. I don't have any bull shads right now, but honestly these fill that gap in the arsenal for me. Got four of them at the moment. Had five, I lost one. It was like the lavender shad color. But yeah, those are the four six cents traces I got. Next up is gonna be the DRT Tiny Clashes. Got four, or we have got five of these. So have this one. Don't know the name of this color. I just got it. It's a super, super sweet. It's got like a teal back. Got the red tail in it. It's like a collaboration with uh, some tackle store, I believe. But that's probably my favorite pattern I have. Got this purple one that's another collaboration with some tackle store something like that just a very very odd pattern but I had to get it to match my uh, purple setup then we got this color that's called specter right here i do know the name of this one it's specter it's an og specter tiny clash right here super used to be a super sought after color before they re-released it but but that one has got to be a staple in everyone's arsenal just a bone color any swim bait in this bonish white color gets bit then we got the Swim Bait Underground collab, the uh, Golden Shiner one. This is the Tiny Clash. Uh, and then the one I don't have with me, my older brother has, it is the, the regular Shiner color. It's like a greenish, greenish chrome scale pattern. I'll put a picture of all the baits I don't have with me on the screen as I talk about them, but got that, the Shiner Tiny Clash as well. Another sick pattern. Next up, we got the uh, Zorba baits that I own. This is the Shad Junior. This is the Shad Daddy. Um, these come from a guy in Sweden, I think is where it's from. Actually, I don't, I'm not hundred percent sure. Don't quote me on that, but they are very affordable baits and they are just super, super nice. The finish on them is so sick. They look super realistic. Uh, this pattern isn't the most realistic, but I had two other ones. I gave them both away. Uh, I had a golden shiner version and I had this same pattern in the Shad Junior. And then this is the only uh, Shad Daddy I've ever owned. I think this color is American Shad, but Really, really nice glide baits, and I think these are like $45, so pretty affordable. Uh, for $45, cannot complain. I've caught I've caught a couple on this one, and I've caught a couple on this one. Um, I don't fish these enough, I would say, but get a more confidence in glides. Both of these are definitely sweet baits. Those are the Zorba glide baits I own. Next up, 
we got the LFOD crappie. This is a really sweet pattern. I got one at the classic. I got like the black, blackish brown crappie pattern. And I actually traded somebody for this white one. It was actually Zach Armstrong. I'm not sure if you're watching this video, but traded Zach for the white one with the chartreuse tail. Just something I would fish more than the black and brown crappie pattern I had. Um, but yeah, this is an LFOD crappie. A little bit more high end bait. These are like 250 bucks if you want to buy one right now. Um, retail on them is 200 I believe. But again, another super sweet bait I have caught probably five six fish on this one this year so but yeah that is the lfod crappie moving on to the big guns right here we got the piz beast mode wake this is the pumpkin seed pattern caught quite a few fish on this one um it's my least rashed up piz bait but i mean i throw this one probably third the third most um i got it brand new so the guy who i got it from didn't fish with it I don't think, but I've been chucking it around. I've caught some decent fish with it so far this year. Definitely one of my most productive night fishing baits because it just has such a such a loud clack and drawing power. It's just really, really fun bait to throw, and that's the Piz Beast Mode Wake. These retail for like 300 bucks. Uh, they go for like, they go for a lot. A lot more than that, like double that. Yeah, all the Piz baits are super hard to get. I'm very, very fortunate to have five in my arsenal, but there is the Piz Beast Mode Wake. All right, next up, we got the Piz Beast Wake, just a regular beast. This is probably my favorite bait in my arsenal. The first Piz bait I ever owned, and I have caught some big ones on this this year. Another one of my most productive night fishing baits. This is... I'm not sure what the pattern is on this. I even asked Paul, the, the bait maker, and he was unsure of it as well. So he, he said it might have been a whiz bait or a whiz pattern. If you all have any ideas, uh, leave a comment. The whiz baits are the ones that you have to win in tournaments. So this might be a whiz bait. I'm not sure. I fish with it, so I don't really care. But super, super sick bait. That's the Piz Beast Wake. That's the gill body. And then next, next is the Piz beast crappie wake so this is the crappie body has a slightly different uh, face shape right here is a little more swooped down does not have the, the little ear thing on it that the bluegill bodies have it has a different dorsal fin different tail fin overall a different profile i would say but same type of action same swim same style bait um this one i know for sure is a whiz bait it's an it's oyster crappie but again, I fish with them, so. I think it's cool to have the rare patterns, but this is just a really good looking pattern also. It's just a fish catching pattern, as you can see. Just straight white on the belly, that's all the fish you're gonna see. So, white baits get bit, that's why I like this one. But there is the uh, Piz Crappie Beast Wake in Oyster Crappie, that's the pattern name. Next up, we got the even smaller Piz, little bluegill profile wake bait, this is the Runt. And this is just the straight oyster pattern. So it's just that white with the blue pearlescent. Um, has a red eye on this side that I put in because I lost the brown eye. And then I got the brown eye still on this side, which is pretty cool. Uh, caught a lot of fish on this one this year. Um, I got this one brand new as well. And you can see all the rash I put on it. Uh, not anywhere close compared to my buddy Eric's. He has the Peeps Oyster Runt, which I'll put a picture of his up right now. It is destroyed. He's caught a ton of fish with it. He needs to fish with it more. He's... He's been slacking on the swim bait game. He kind of got addicted to BFS, which is the complete opposite world. But that is the uh, oyster runt wake right there. I have a gill tail. I just need to put it in. Uh, that is a crappie tail in there, but this is the gill body. There is also a crappie uh, body on the runt. I just don't have one. I want to get one, but anyways, again, that is the oyster runt wake right there. The last Piz bait I own right here. This is the Baby Carp Wake. Again in the color Oyster. I like this pattern a lot. I wish I had more baits in this pattern. I really want a Beast Wake, but I don't know if they even exist. Um, I've seen one that was repainted before that was an Oyster, but I want an OG one. I don't even know if they exist though. But the Baby Carp Wake right there in Oyster. Very, very, very cool bait. I sold this one and I got it back recently. So that's pretty cool. Next up, we got a mega bait right here. This is a throwback mob walker. Had this one painted by uh, BNA Customs. 
I got it in a perch pattern. I had BNA throw some paint on it. This is the uh, candy apple gill pattern. And then he did a little different on mine. He did like the red tracer line on the top. It's red with the green pearlescent, which is pretty, pretty cool. I've never seen a pattern like this before. I've not caught a fish on this yet. Uh, but I've thrown it probably five, six times maybe. It's a freaking giant bait. It's, it's a workout to throw, but that is the Throwback Baits Mob Walker. Mm, opposite end of the spectrum, we got the Trashy Baby Shiner Wake right here. A little four piece wake and crank type bait. Doesn't get down too deep, but everything made by Trashy Bass is super, super clean, super sought after now. They used to, they used to go for like retail, man. I used to have a bunch. Uh, those are part of the baits I sold a long time ago, but I got three now. We got the Baby Shiner Wake and the next two I'm going to show y'all. Um, I have not caught a fish on this. I don't think I've thrown it enough, but it's only one ounce, so I don't I don't like to throw baits that are that light that much. I've thought about selling this. I've listed it up for sale a few times, but I just haven't. Um, I like to keep it around. I don't know why, honestly. It's a, it's a lot of money just to be sitting around, but that is the Trashy Baby Shiner Wake. Alrighty, one of my favorite baits again. This is probably second favorite to the Beast Wake. This is the Trashy Gill Swimmer. And very, very cool bait right here. This is one I sold a long time ago and I was able to get it back recently. Um, I'll throw up a picture of me catching a freaking giant on it back in like 2021. And then I've caught, I've thrown it a few times since I got it back. I have so many baits now that I'm not able to honestly go out and use them all. Um, I have my favorite side I throw most of the time, but every once in a while I'll take a random bait with me. This is one of those. Uh... In the middle of the summer right now, I feel like that's why I haven't been throwing it. Um, all the ponds are freaking mossed over, so this thing sinks a little bit. I like to throw stuff that's right on the surface in the middle of the summer, so. That is the Trashy Gill Swimmer, and that's a pumpkin seed pattern. My most productive pattern in any bait, honestly. Any bait that I have that's pumpkin seed that has that bright orange belly, I catch fish on it, so. That's probably my favorite pattern to get in any bait. Any and all baits. Here is the Trashy Gill Wake in a different pumpkin seed pattern. Same, painted by Josh still. Both of them painted by Josh. There, I don't think there's really any repaints out there of these. These are impossible to rash up, even though it looks like I haven't thrown these baits at all. I've thrown them quite a bit. Caught, caught a good one on this one this year, like a five pounder. Um, this is the only difference between this and the swimmer is the thickness. And obviously this one's three piece instead of four piece and it has that lip. Very similar actions, this one just stays up on the surface. Um, both super fluid, stable baits. It has the new style tail, which is like the triangle shape, but again, pumpkin seed, so you know it gets a bit. Um, trashy gill wake right there. Next up, we got these two-piece psycho gill right here. This is like the high-vis white and chartreuse pattern. I don't think I've found this at all. This is my brother's he got at the Classic. Um, I did do a swim video on this that I haven't posted yet, but I had that trashy bass painted cycle gill and I never caught a fish on it, so I sold it. Um, kind of regret it, don't really. I mean, I was after that trashy painted cycle gill for a while, and once I had it and didn't catch fish with it, I was like, I don't need this. So, sold it. This is the only cycle gill we have now. But again, another sweet pattern. It's white, so it'll get bit. I just need to throw it more. Or Jacob needs to throw it more, my brother. But super sick bait. Again, the cycle gill. As you guys can see, I'm very much wake and crank swimmer heavy. I don't have very many glide baits, but that is going to change soon because I'm trying to get more confidence in glides. I've been catching a ton of spro chad shad. Uh, glides are just scary to throw in my opinion. They freaking sink and if you cast it off or break it off on a fish, it's going to the bottom. Anyways, next bait. Next up, we got the clickbait mini shore banger right here. I got two of them. got the all black crappie pattern and I got the pink crappie pattern. Caught a bunch of fish on both of these. Um, they got a little bit of that joint rash and they get that white line once you fish them. Uh, these are a super, super sweet crank down, super fluid motion. They make a nice loud clicking sound as you reel them down. And I've been fishing these like a square bill, just burning them, banging them off the rocks. And I've had a lot of luck. I lost a really good one on this, like the day I got it at the Classic. Uh, went out to my grandpa's farm ponds, hooked into a giant. I fell down this island and I lost the fish. But yeah, those are the clickbait mini shore bangers. I really love these baits. Another one of my favorite, favorite baits in my arsenal. I really want to get a pumpkin seed pattern one just because that gets bit or a white one. The pink honestly looks white in the water because all the tannins around here. So this is basically white to me. It's just a prettier version of white. I like pink baits. I like flashy stuff. So these are really cool. Next up, we got 
this is a, a rat, a resin rat made by Jacked Up Baits. Um, I don't know if there's very many of these out there. It's not a super popular company. He's not very well known, but he makes really, really cool baits. Um, this is honestly a super solid rat wick. I've thrown it a bunch and I have not caught a fish on it yet. I don't know why. Um, you would think this would be a super killer nighttime bait. That's why I've been throwing it. It's all black. It's a super loud makes that exact sound as you're swimming it in the water but super nice rat i love this rat honestly i haven't sold it because i know i will catch a fish on it even though i haven't caught one yet i know i will that is the jacked up baits rat right there next up we got the drt clash 9 right here this is the joy thief pattern we got the joy thief one then we have the swim bait universe or swim bait underground collab color the golden shiner one as well throw up a picture of that one right now don't have it with me jacob has it but this is the Joy Thief pattern. I've caught a few fish on the canine over my time, over my life. I've had the, uh, I've had a few canines. I've had the Sexy Shad, like the US Sexy Shad pattern. I've had the Tule Perch pattern. Caught some fish on the Tule Perch one. Sold both of those, so now we only have the uh, Joy Thief and the Gold Shiner patterns, but canine is a very well-known bait and it gets bit. I just need to throw it more, so. Next up, we got this. This is the Bait Sanity Explorer. I believe this is Jacobs. Uh, it's the hookup tackle collaboration color, I believe. Um, you can see all those like chrome pieces chipping away at it. That's from the rash. I don't know if he's caught a fish on this. I personally have never thrown this bait. It's apparently very similar to the Depth 250, which I want to get one of, but I don't have one yet. Just a nice like 10 and a half inch, maybe 10. I don't, I don't know the size of it. It's probably a 10 inch glide. It's like five ounces. Just a nice fluid motion glide bait definitely need to give this one some more opportunities to catch fish but again that is the bait sanity explore glide next got one of these uh bass pro shops glides this is jacobs i haven't thrown one of these i'm assuming it's similar to an s waiver just bass pros version it's their bigger size this thing comes with some gigantic hooks i don't know if y'all can see that but yeah gonna do a little just real quick with that one that's a bass pro glide don't know what it's called Next, we got the uh, six cents draw. This is the full size draw right here. I have not thrown this bait ever, I don't think. Again, another one of Jacob's baits. This is the 4K shad pattern. This bait catches fish. I think it's a little bit more finicky um, compared to most glide baits, but I just need to throw glide baits more is what I'm realizing by uh, going through all these because I'm talking about all these glides that I have not thrown and they're just sitting on my wall. So there'll be a video of me fishing with this soon. We got another Bass Pro Glide. This is a crappie, like their rounder style glide bait. Don't know what it's called. It's like the XPS glide bait. I know Jacob's caught some fish on this one though. Um, I've never tried it out though. Again, another bait I need to try out. But yeah, there's the Bass Pro Glide. Next up, we got the River to Sea Tactical Wake. Very, very odd shaped lip on this guy. I have thrown it. It again comes with some monster hooks. Definitely should downsize the hooks that are on it if I want to catch a fish, but it's a nice three piece wake, river to sea, 210. I think this is like a $75 bait. Comes in a really cool wooden case. Um, the Tactical Bassin guys designed it. So I have thrown it, have not caught a fish with it yet though. Next, we got these bull gills. This is a five inch, this is a six inch. This one actually was like resealed by Russell Larry Myers, I'm pretty sure. So it has like a thick clear coat over it. And this one I painted myself, freaking dope pattern. The spray paint kind of rubbed off, but it's all yellow because my buddy had that peeps runt. That's all yellow and I wanted an all yellow bait. So I just spray painted this one yellow, but Mike Buka bull gills right there. Got two of them. Next, we got the DRT riser jack junior, or this is like the DRTX fish arrow collab bait. And I have this cool lip on it. It's the only way I fish it. It's, got, it's called a mouthpiece lip. Makes it like a jitterbug, which is super sick. Cool nighttime fishing bait. Only had it a couple times, or I got it really recently, so I've only gone out and used it a couple times. I've not gotten bit with it yet, but I know it'll get bit. It's a jitterbug, like crawler style bait. So those have been really popular. People have been coming out with a bunch of these. And this was a really affordable way to get one. So I think I paid 30 bucks for the bait and the lip was $15. So 45 bucks for a super awesome, a uh, very very consistent running bait definitely recommend uh, y'all trying to get one of these the riser jack jr with the mouthpiece lip i have the stock lip too i've just never even tried it with it then we got the spro rat that i melted the tail off of uh i've thrown this bait so many times and i've never caught a fish with it and the one time i take my little brother fishing i let him throw the spro rat 
and he catches one on it. I'll throw up a picture of that, but this is just a well, well proven bait. Um, the Spur Rats are super affordable, super great action on them, super consistent. They have a really nice rattle sound, but that's the Spro Rat. You know, my brother caught like a six and a half pounder on this. Jacob did, not my little brother, but I've never caught a fish on a rat and it's very disappointing. I've thrown them a bunch, but the time will come. Next, we got the Spro Chad Chad. I've been doing some work with this guy. I'll throw up some pictures now. This is the uh, KGB Spro Chad collaboration where they made like the, the ABS plastic versions of the Chad Chads. I've had a few of the regular Chad Chads, like the original resin ones. And I've caught some fish on them. I've actually lost a gigantic one on a pink. I used to have like a kokanee pattern chat chat that had the pink back on it. And I lost a really big fish on that one. But this is the only KGB bait we own now. And it's not even like a real KGB. You need to get some more of those. The glides I'm looking to pick up are, I know for sure, Jacob ordered a trick shad. So we got a seven inch trick shad coming. Um, ordering a Metro glide on the next drop. We got a Metro and I traded it for the baby carp wake actually. So that's how I got the baby carp wake back. But I gotta buy another Metro now. So the throwback baits Metro glides coming. I need to get some of the Chad Shads or the TSGs. And then I wanna get another one of the uh, Clutch Swim Baits OGs. I like those a lot. We sell them at the store I work at and my boss gave me one to use and I caught some fish with it. Super, super stable fluid bait, really slow sink, which is what I like. So I'm wanting to pick up one of those. So stay tuned for those pickups in the near future. Next, we got the Shimano Arma Joint 190, I believe that's the size of this one. It doesn't say on the bait, but this is like, this bait's pretty crazy. It like folds up when you cast it. And that's exactly how I lost the first one. I had like the chrome and red one and I caught a fish with it. I lost like a five pounder. He jumped and spit it. And then I bombed it out there and I snagged this tree out in the middle of the lake. And I couldn't go out there because it was really cold outside and I lost the bait. So, got this one now. That's all the one we have left. It's like the bluish gold pattern. I've never caught a fish on this. But yeah, that's the Shimano. Shimano Arma Joint has that little flash boost technology in there, which is pretty cool. Then we got an S Waver 168 right here in the bluegill pattern. This is probably the swimbait that got me into swimbait fishing. Specifically in the light trout pattern. That used to be my favorite. I used to have a ton of those. Caught some big fish with on or well, caught some big fish on them and i've also caught fish on the s waiver 200 size but this is probably the more manageable size if you are looking to get into swim baits i highly highly recommend the s waiver 168 it's just a simple s swim style of glide but it gets bit it gets bit and it's really cheap so you don't really have to worry about losing them so yeah you get one of these and you're gonna get bit by the swim bait bug and then you're gonna have a wall that looks like this another little glide bait that i got this is a called a kit kat glide it's made by a guy in swim bait universe Named AJ, AJ something. It starts with a V. AJV is what I'm gonna call him. But it's a really cool crawl pattern. That's why I picked it up. It was like 65 bucks. Super stable bait. It's a very nice choppy glide. And I have caught a bunch of fish with this one. Probably like, I say a bunch, but realistically like 10, 15 fish on it. But yeah, it's like a six and a half inch, one and a half ounce glide bait. I really like this bait. Definitely a good early fall time or dead winter stuff. Dead winter pattern on there. So. That's the Kit Kat Glide. Then we got the Storm Arashi right here. Got a couple of these. Jacob has a couple. We have the three piece one and two of these. But that's a Storm Arashi Glide bait. Another affordable glide bait you can get. We got a few miscellaneous ones up here. This is the, I don't know what brand it is. Hardcore Twitch Ninja. I've caught some big fish on this one too. This one kind of got me into swim baits as well. That chartreuse pattern. You can see all the rash on it. I've chucked this thing quite a bit. Still has a bent out hook from a fish, I assume, but I've caught a couple big ones. I might throw some pictures up on, on the screen of those fish catches with this thing. This is like a $15 glide as well. Gets chewed. Gets chewed for sure. And then we got this uh, Fish Lab Whopper Plopper Rat thing. I've never thrown this either. This is Jacob's as well, but double Whopper Plopper feet on this bad boy. That's most of the hard bits thing. We got a few more up here. I'll pull down. Yep, we got... The smaller size in the draw, the seven, this is like the bone pattern. It's called a uh, bone pearl right there. The seven and a half or six and a half inch draw. Then we got the flow glider. We're going to do like the little trick where you shave the joint on this one. It's just been sitting on the, sitting on the wall though, unfortunately. We're going to start moving on to the soft baits here in a second, but this one's just laying on my desk. Six cents hangover, a fast sink hangover. This one swims crooked, which is whack. So it just sits up here. We got another hangover. 
Still in the package. Another fast sync, I believe. Yeah, fast sync, six cents hangover right there. I think that's all the hard baits though that I got right now. We're gonna move on to the soft baits. This is the uh, Raid Osakana Slide 170. This is like the golden, uh, what's it called? Golden magic pattern. I have this one and I had the pink one. I literally just lost it though, got it snagged on a stick. And I did not wanna go swimming so I just broke it off because they're 20 bucks and they're readily available now. They're not like sold out everywhere, so. This bait is super, super good. It's super stable. Um, it, it floats, so you don't have to worry about losing one if you cast it off. You can just cast another bait at it and catch it. Um, very, very nice choppy glide action. And then when you burn it, it's like a swimmer, which is super cool. It's very, very versatile bait. For 20 bucks, I highly recommend y'all get one of these and try it. It's also a line through, so as soon as you hook the fish, the hook just detaches out from the bait and then the bait slides up your line. So you don't gotta worry about it getting too chewed up. But yeah, that's the Osakana Slide 170. Next, we got this absolute monster right here, the 13 fishing, uh, it's called the BAMF, which stands for, I'm sure y'all can guess the acronym. Uh, this is like the boot tail one, and then we have the wedge tail one also. I don't know where it is, but this is the boot tail, as you can see. Gigantic bait, never thrown it. It's Jacob, so it just sits right here on the wall. Next up, Got two of the Nessie nine inches. I have not thrown these yet either. I uh, need to, I just picked them up and put them on the wall. But these are another soft plastic glide bait. This is the nine inch size. They make a couple other sizes too, but went with the big one since I have the Osakanas. But I think these catch fish. I don't know, I haven't thrown it. Definitely need to do a video on these ones soon because I think I can get bit on this bad boy. Next, we got the Berkeley Cole Shad. This is just the Mag Draft, but Berkeley's version. We got the six inch and the eight inch right there. No need to talk about these ones. Okay, now I'm gonna show y'all the soft baits right here that are hanging up on the pegs. Um, I'm gonna show y'all, I got a bunch right here, so we're gonna burn through them real quick. Alrighty, first up is gonna be the burrito baits. We got the mega eight inch baka right here. It's called the Chimichanga. This thing is gigantic. The Baca is a well-proven bait. Um, don't need to talk about it either. So we got the eight inch. Then we got the six inch size right here. We got the chartreuse one. We got this purple and yellow one. We got this all yellow one with the red head. We got the uh, tactical bass in color, their little shad pattern. Moving along, we got the five inch Baca in that same tactical bass in color. Don't remember what it's called, but there's the five inch. Then we got the uh, Burrito Baits Taco. This is a top water soft bait. Ooh, I just hooked myself. Got a little treble hook on the bottom, got a jig hook on the top, and this tail is like a whopper plopper, throws a bunch of water, but that's the burrito taco. And then we got the burrito baits nacho. So they all got some pretty funny names, chimichanga, nacho, taco, but that's the nacho. That's the like original size of the nacho. I think it's five inches or close to it, 4.25, something like that. There's the nacho. I don't think I showed these. These are the uh, burrito baits baka talk. So it's a weedless version of the Baca. It's called the Baca Talk because it's their taquito mixed with their Baca. So the body is the taquito, has a Baca tail. But there's the Baca Talk, it's got two of those. Next up, this is my most recent pickup. This is the Unique Naughty Gill. It's a, a top water soft bait as well, kind of. You can make it sink, but you fish it like a wake bait, kind of. Has that wedge tail, it just floats up on the surface. Super stable bait. Uh, you have to weight it yourself. Look up on Unique's Instagram how this bait works. It's pretty cool. Um, I just picked one up, went out fishing with it this morning. Did not get bit, but that's just because the water clarity and after that post-frontal conditions, those post-frontal conditions are tough. So that is the Unique Naughty Gill. Right there, it's like got a little harness. Super, super unique bait, hence the name. Next up, we got the uh, Zaldane, the Dangerous swimmer, Swim Baits. These are the seven inch, my favorite size. I have not thrown the six inch actually, but I kept so many fish on the sevens that I don't even want to try it. Why would you want to throw a smaller bait? But this is probably my most productive soft bait and the one I'm the least scared of throwing because I don't care if I lose them because I can just go to the store and buy some more. But caught a ton of fish on these. Uh, have a couple packs on the wall as well. This is my favorite color though, the blue back chartreuse. 
it's just a great bait just a great bait i've only thrown the one that you rig yourself the weedless version there is a line through like jig hook style one that i want to try but haven't pulled the trigger on any of those yet but yeah there's the dangerous swim bait right there next up we got this matt lures hammer tail gill i believe i don't know what it's called honestly it's a wedge tail bluegill soft bait with the jig hook never thrown it probably should throw it on beds but another sick bait right there got a little savage gear little bluegill swim bait too this one has rattles in it which is kind of cool we got the huddleston 68 weedless version right there a really cool pattern my boss gave me this one shout out my boss we got one of the savage gear pulse tail trouts another line through soft body swim bait got three of these bad boys these are the dream smashers the six inch size um these things get crushed i sharpied all of them so they all used to look like this top white one right here they're just a straight white pattern but this one's like a purple back with a chartreuse tail and this one's a red head with a chartreuse tail Caught a lot of fish on these. These have a really nice like wobble action as they swim. Looks like this in the water as they swim. Probably need to mend them up and then uh, tie them back on. Now we're gonna speed through the mag draft style baits. You got the mag swole. This thing sucks. Don't buy these. Do not recommend. I don't know how to fish it honestly without it just rolling over. But that's the mag swole. Then we got three of the little five inch mag drafts. Two of that clear white, clear water rosy pattern. Don't know what's called. And then one of the bluegill patterns couple six inches in that black back pattern couple six inches in the gizzard shad color don't remember what it's called then we got the six inch in that clear color right there then we got two eight inches right here i've caught some fish on this one i've never caught a fish on this one that one that's why this one is all chewed up that's all the mag drafts we own i think oh i just dropped it all right i think we're down to the working class zero base now so gonna fly through those as well because jacob has a problem and buys every single one that comes out so i have quite a few jacob is my older brother by the way all right here are the only two that are out of the package right now that are just hanging on the wall two seven inches this is an og this is one of the newer ones i think colors militia this one's like the i don't know what this one was called but caught some fish on it as you can see it's all chewed up uh the seven inch citizen is probably jacob's favorite bait so i have quite a few of them got to run through them all so one second Here's all the seven inch citizens we got. We got crackhead in the seven inch, the first pack. We got another pack of crackhead right here. We got the cokehead color, slightly more yellow right there. We got one of the green and black ones, one of the gray and green ones in there. I don't know the names of the colors. We got a pack of silver right there and then we got a pack of the uh like purple color these were a collab with somebody i forgot but it's called like uh what's it called it's called gypsy is the color but it's like gray with light gray with purple so those are all the seven inches we got and i'm probably lying i know jacob has a bunch of packs of these in his in his work van with him so there's probably like three more packs of seven inch citizens so he has a problem Next up, we got the six inch size. We got the, this is cokehead, I think. Then we got one cokehead, one black. Solid black one in there. Um, we got a pack of silver ones. I know we got like two packs of the green and black ones. And we have another black one somewhere. I think we have another pack of the cokeheads. I think Jacob has all of them though. Uh, and then I have one of the green and black ones tied onto my rod right now that I was using this morning. So a bunch of the six inch citizens. Then there is the nine inch citizen. We got this color. It's like the, it was called like sweetheart or something like that. It's silver, all silver basically with black glitter on the top. Then we got the cokehead or crackhead, one of the two. It's hard to really tell the difference. And then we got the gypsy color in the nine inch. I doubt I will ever catch a fish on one of these or Jacob, but we got them. So we got them. I found another pack of six inches right there, the gypsy color. And then last, we got some battle shads, the 6.0 and the 7.5. Jacob has lost two of the 7.5s recently because he loves to throw them on fluoro, which I do not advise. And he has just casted them off into the abyss. But yeah, 
There's the battle shads. I don't know if we've ever caught a fish on a battle shad. Kind of just got them, but. Alrighty, guys. And if I'm not missing anything, that is a wrap on the Swim Bay Arsenal video right there. That was a lot of talking. It took me about an hour and a half to film that. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed seeing all the baits I got. Gonna be doing a lot more fishing. Uh, school starts next week for me. And every time I go to school, I'm gonna head to the ponds around my school. So I'll be able to fish a little bit different waters over there. There's actually some pretty good ponds around my school also. Trying to sell the kayak right now. Um, gonna get a paddle board, go that route. So, like I said, hope y'all enjoyed this Swim Bay Arsenal video. Uh, like, subscribe, stay tuned for more Swim Bay content. Got a lot more videos I'm gonna be producing this year for you guys. Follow me on Instagram at hinkle.fishing. Post a lot more on there than I do on here. And yeah, peace out.